Have you ever had a hunt where you just feel like you sucked really badly? I know I have. Plenty of times. You guys have seen my videos. You know how badly I suck at this game. Here's five basic ways to, to improve yourself as a hunter. One, items. I know it sounds stupid, items, but yet it's such a big, crucial thing of the game, and people seem to forget or use the wrong items or forget the items they need. For instance, a simple a simple backpack, combo book, potions, mega potions, herbs, blue mushrooms, honey, whetstones for your blade master, or extra, you know, supplies to make other ammos. And if you're in a hot area, cool drinks, cold area, hot drinks. And of course, the most crucial thing what people seem to forget is life powder. Honestly, why do people forget life powder? It is the most important thing in high level hunting. I always remember it. It's crucial. And yet, you have Jim Bob over there, like, going, oh, hey, and you're on the floor, like, twitching, because you're, like, you know, you're poisoned. You're that much sliver up, and you know the next animation, you're not going to heal in time. And Jim Bob over there could have healed you easily. Come on. What is it? It's just freaking to make a life crystal. God bug. Wyvern Fang. They're so easy to get a hold of. And to make a life powder, I don't know, a Wyvern Claw and a life powder. And you can have a total of three in your inventory. It's not that hard to get life powder, guys. Come on. And if you really want to, bring extras. Bring more life crystals. Bring more wyvern fangs. You can have a total of 13 in your inventory, pretty much. Because after you made, you made the three, you make more. It's simple. Just come on, guys. Life powders. Remember them, please, too. Knowing your food combos. Food combos are crazy in this game. And people yet, again... I've seen randoms or I've seen like new people come to the group who don't understand how the foods work. And there's a just a massive amount of food that you can get. I mean, first of all, you gotta do the quest to get them. If not, just have a friend who has like the, all the foods and that. I mean, they raise your health to maximum. That's amazing. Your stamina's full. That's great for a hammer user myself. I'm a hammer user, so that's great for me and for dual blade users. And and if you want, you can raise your attack. Or if not, they raise your defense. That's um, that's crazy. I mean, it's, it's right there. Eat properly. And of course, then you get like the other buff. Like for instance, you want to get that rare item, get the explorer buff. If you want to do that transport mission, you get the skill called, I don't know, transporter. Where your, your stamina decreases very, very, very slowly, which is great for carrying things. And of course, moxie. Why do people not get moxie? Jesus Christ. People don't understand what moxie is. You survive a really big hit. For instance, if a Devil Joe slaps you across the face with a giant breath attack, you will live. If a Teostra jumps in your face and puts a fireball in your face, you will live. If a Chameleos hits you with a po Actually, no, never mind. Even if you had Moxie, the poison would still kill you anyway. Three, equipment. I know it's going to sound stupid, but use the right equipment on the right monster. I mean, you have Jimbo over there going, yeah, man, I got myself sharpness plus one, evade extender, fast charge, and earplug. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude. You have minus 35 fire, and we're going against Teostra, the living embodiment of fire. Unless you're Canthopar me, Asian, or God, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Take the right equipment to fight the right monster. Same with weapons as well. It'd be kind of stupid taking like a 300 fire against a Teostra, for instance, or a Raphalos, because that's just, that's just, you're just massaging them guys with that fire. I mean, it's different with hammers, because hammers have such high raw damage and very low elements sometimes. It doesn't really matter, really. Do you think about your equipment as well, guys, okay? Four, understanding the monster and learning the monster. It's all well and good knowing the food, the items, and getting the right equipment, but if you don't know the monster, it's gonna be very, very hard to. The best way to learn monsters is to either solo them yourself or be in a group and just learn all the way up. There's no point going into a high level G rank and just keep on wiping over and over and over again because you don't understand how the monster works. Again, you have Jim Bob over there sharpening his weapon while the Ray Jank jumps back and throws a boulder, even though there's plenty of time to move, you're just sharpening a sword, he didn't care. Or you have the Chiostra about to do supernova and you have no idea what he's doing. Or Chameleon's jumping in the air, about to do his poison attack, and you, you can't dodge that. I mean, the only, the only way you can learn that is by understanding how the monster works, the move sets, how it fights the monster over and over and over again. You start to understand the little tweaks and little how what they're going to do next. I mean, sometimes monsters are a bit unpredictable. But you can understand, oh, this is about they're going to do, oh, they're going to do this move, they're going to do that. It's well worth the effort just to understand how to learn how the monster works. It's fine. Join a hunting group. I mean, it's all well and good playing of randoms. Joining a hunting group is great because you have multiple people to play with. About In my hunting group, I have like 70 plus people, which is amazing. It's always active. There's always people on there. And you start building a relationship with people. 
as well. And that's the great thing about hunting groups. They start to know your strengths and weaknesses and what you need to learn. And the trips and tips, there's a lot of people who are old veterans like myself. I played since Monster Hunter, I played since the first Monster Hunter. We've got the new guys who've just started a Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, just learning the game. And it's such a great community, Monster Hunter is. It's well worth just making a hunting group. For instance, your Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Skype, heck, even add me. I'll put my details below in the description. It's well worth doing this, just joining a hunting group because it's well worth it, guys, okay? Because it, building friendships is how it works. It's, this game, I've met so many people through a hunting group or online. I met some of you, you amazing people on my, on my channel. It's well worth to do. And some of you guys are amazing hunters. And some of you guys are terrible. And hopefully this guide will help you out. Thank you so much, guys. Great. Take care, guys, and happy hunting. Bye-bye.